this moment experience and then they want to hold on to the gold medal uh, that they got from last time around. So everybody, we're going to be getting into game number one. We're seeing double Wuxiang and we're seeing double Onyx. This is for Three, grand finals two, of the autumn one, double championships. Four. Let's get it. Let's get it for sure. Here we go. Starting off. Okay, Balloon Void looking for that neutral aid. Blue team just occupying the ground for just a moment in time. We're starting off quite slow, quite gently. No big plays have been made quite yet. A two-piece right there. Experience taking quite a bit of damage. And Light yeah. and Sig gets both members of Blue Team. Hideaway comes back on and gets the neutral aid. Wow. Yeah, and I'm wondering what the long break for Zen and Experience might have done uh, for the mental, right? Like, you have so much time, like an hour, really, to just, like, kind of chill. I'm sure they're probably playing, warming up with each other, maybe talking about what they're going to do in Grand Finals. All that being said, they were able to pick up the first KO of this match, but the Ang v. Ang on the left side right here is going Pogo's way, finds one over on Experience. Zen is going to fall as well. There was the save, but Hideaway once again is there to cover. I mean, he's just yes. been so on top of it. Getting the end light, looking for the end sig as well, but not going to be able to find it there. Is that going to be the stock? Yes, it will be gone off the top. Zen and experience two stocks each. Balloon Boy holding on to this one. The new trailer not going to be enough. Okay, Balloon Boy gets the recovery to initiate right here. No Down exhaustive in? recovery to be right. had, though. Hideaway gets wrapped up right there. There's another stock and already falls to last. Balloon Boy soon to follow, though. Not too bad in terms of offset respawn timing, so they will get another shot right here to get a 2v1 oh over gosh. on any red team member. Everybody's stacked on top of each other for just a moment in time. Hideaway looking for a way to be able to land. Balloon Boy starting a juggle, but mostly unscathed will be the red team. Going off stage for the down air, eating that end light, oh. coming back on, but that's a side sig on the wrong opponent, but it Again? does not matter. Hideaway! Are you kidding oh, me? Hideaway! Hideaway! No shot! Unbelievable! You gotta be kidding me! This is MVP behavior! Hideaway's tag is just an instruction for the red team. They've got to hide. They've got to go away, Walt, because that was ridiculous. That is what he is able to do. That is the power of Onyx. That is the power of Cannon Down Air and Gauntlet Neutral my friends. It is absolutely ridiculous. So, making it back on. Red team, they have a bit of a hill to climb now. Yeah, it is GOAT season, and that rank one is not who you expect right now. Hideaway and Balloon Boy really putting in that work. Balloon Boy still hanging on a stock of buffer as well. So, if he can hang on to this one, if Hideaway does not fall out, this is looking so good for the blue team. Oh, he's going out. Zen is afraid. Zen is terrified. What? Zen, and he should be. What? what the hell is happening? That is why you should be afraid. Because Hideaway has gauntlets with your name on it, my friends. End light. Neutral light. Neutral light. GC side light. Not going to be able to get the finisher, but it does not matter. Because look at how good blue team is looking right now. Experience down to side and then into the gauntlet D sig as well. Oh my god. That is a wrap. And uh, for what it's worth, ladies and gents, that's the first game Experience and Zen have dropped in this top eight bracket. And it didn't look close. I'm going to be honest, it did not look close by the way no. Hideaway was handling those edge guards. Oh my gosh, look at the DC. Did it connect? The down in, the cash into the neutral yeah. that execution. The, the To do it in the moment like that on the fly, I mean, that was phenomenal. Wow. Crazy so, stuff. I mean, all that being said, the the bracket path of experience in Zen was was filled to the brim with drama, right? They fell to game fives multiple times here. This is surely no different, and they have a full set of buffer to play with in this grand finals. But once again, that momentum from Balloon mm -hmm. Boy and Hideaway looks very unstoppable right now. Zen within that side light, eating an end light instead, and Hideaway just opting to focus onto experience for just a second. Gets the end light, but that's a little bit of friendly fire. Okay, Zen with just a pogo right there over the top to just kind of get a soft reset. Hideaway wanted to get the weapon. Okay, able to pick up his own cannon once again, so that's not too, too bad, but is the odd man out right now in terms of damage? Oh, backing up a little bit, eating the recovery. Both of them going to be stuck at disadvantage. I don't think Balloon Boy can make it back on, is what I would say until he fi finds the chase dodge. That's right. Sido comes out, Ensign comes out as well. Hideaway's first stock is gone. Now Zen, just respecting Balloon Boy, letting him force the timing to get back onto the stage now. Okay, Sarah from Hideaway covers it right there as well. Really nice wow. stuff in the signature to boot. And Light D-Light, oh my gosh, they are handing off Zen to one another. They've dealt so much damage, but they need the KO now. And how do you find it? Ooh, okay, with Punish there onto Experience just like wasn't thought out all the way right there to be able to potentially get a uh, at least an edge guard position. But Hideaway mm -hmm. once again going to work right here. There's the cannon off stage. Pogo goes first oh, right there. Hideaway is of course there to cover. 
oh my gosh, you can never count him out, especially when it comes to the offstage gameplay. Experience is already on last stock somehow. That is how terrifying the blue team can be. I, I mean, like, they're doing exactly what Experience and Zen did to Java and Snowy, yes. right? It's crazy to think about. Like, they're just making one of these players a complete non-factor in this game. And like Ensig, classic Lushan follow-up. But guess what? All of that having been said, this is a mostly even game at the moment. The damage is a little bit different. And like comes out, experience with the interruption. You have to know when and what you can commit to in twos. That is why catch catching them stacked is so scary, because then they can't interrupt you. Okay, Hideaway gets the action going. Recovery from Balloon Boy does not connect for the three-piece, though. Wait, experience oh, off-stage no. This happened earlier in the day, too, right? Uh, it might have been a disconnect. It might have also been a decent gun out ends. I don't know what that could have been, guys. That is tragic. But at the moment, Zen now has to fight this 1v2, and that is not what he expected at all. Okay, here we go. I mean, this is a this is a tough 2v1. I mean, definitely possible with an extra stock to play around with if you're Zen, but there goes yep. the first one. You got to get you got to get hideaway, right? Like enforce the 1v1 versus Balloon Boy while you're playing a stock behind. Yeah, that is usually the sentiment when it comes to fighting 1v2s. You got to find the weak link, usually uh, that one that has the most amount of damage, the one that is lowest in stock count, but they got the combos. They have the damage output. Zen, that's going to be the edge guard. You have no way to get back on. Go next. I'm going to SD. Let's see what we got. Look at this scoreline, Dara. 2-0 already for Balloon Boy and Hideaway. And I mean, like, for mm -hmm. as much as I said, Zen and Experience marched their way through the winner's bracket of this uh, of this tournament, Balloon Boy and Hideaway have made it look pretty easy, too. They've dropped one game so far in three out of four sets, but it is not, I mean, it's just been crazy to watch. This game, I don't want to think that much about, you know, because they had the even game, they had a lot of momentum behind them, and then, of course, the unfortunate thing with experience ended up happening. I believe that's usually a controlling disconnect. Somebody would correct me about that, but guys, that three, is why you two, want to be in winning side of grand finals, no. because even if you do end up losing this set, you still have another set to play with. Red team, you cannot count them out. Let's see what they can make happen. Yep, a little bit of padding here for sure. But Zen and Experience can still get a reverse 3-0 right here and just end it in one set. Yes, they absolutely can. Zen whiffing that end light. Hideaway, neutral end light as well. They've dealt so much damage onto Zen and they're trying to get that edge guard and they can't find it quite the, yet. The double gauntlets combo is crazy too. The fact that they were able to rack up that much damage without any interruption. Oh, Experience not able to find the sidelight sider, and he ended up committing and putting himself off stage as a result. He is finally beginning to reestablish neutral. Slowing down, getting the double recovery. Very that's nice. going to be it. And that's going to be Zen's full stock finally gone. Balloon Boy, neutral. Will he find the spike? Zen just sliding off off stage to help out his teammate. Mm -hmm. Looking for the setup right here, ending in one of Hideaway's signatures, I believe. But hang on, Balloon Boy wants to get one for himself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my gosh, is Experience going to be able to make it back from this? Yes, he can, but he goes out Wait, through the Balloon Boy! Pound. Yeah, Balloon Boy having no nonsense at all. He just wanted to get that stock gone, and that was an overextension, absolutely. Insane stuff, and I mean, like, the, the team synergy from Blue so far has just been unreal. Hideaway on this cannon, a lethal threat, finally gets that first one knocked out. But I mean, Balloon Boy still has at least mm. a recovery or two to get hit by before he gets the KO as well. There's Catching an anti here on both of them. With the D like, they're both stuck at disadvantage, but Balloon Boy puts himself off stage, gets stage spiked by the down out. Zen can't find the reversal. Experience catching that dodge in. Good patience. He saw that Hideaway was just far enough that he could play like a brief 1v1. That was a 1v1 cannon interaction, and he read and punished the dodge. That's right, but watch out. Hideaway's got the cannon once again, was equipped for like 70% of the previous game, and for good no. reason, right? Look at Balloon Boy off stage. Here comes experience but hideaway once again punishing the return from any red team member and now look at experience stuck off stage briefly without a weapon the decent comes out and actually ends up dealing damage onto hideaway and balloon boy stuck at this advantage and sig oh my god stocks are flying balloon boy goes for the death the, the dive kick doesn't matter once again as soon as one goes wow. for it hideaway is there zen gets the recovery lead and yet balloon boy is still hanging onto this stock experience gets the neutral lead. balloon boy i'm gonna say it again and again, he's hanging on, he gets the recovery, finally, that's going to be it, and Balloon Boy knocked down to his last. Hideaway still continuing to stock tank a little bit, but Blue Team is looking indomitable. Okay. 
Hideaway playing a little bit forward right there. Gets the action started with the gravity cancel. Wants to go for the ground pound, but a lot of respect right here. Knows that there's nothing left in the tank. We do fall to last stock. Balloon Boy, very patient using that soft platform excellently, too, to get down. Yes, they couldn't catch that landing. Hideaway with the side light, the double side light as well. Experience wants that reversal. He is hugging the left side of the stage, and he is baiting somebody to come out there with him. Nobody's taking the bait, though, and he is not getting that down anytime soon. <gasps> the dodge from Hideaway makes a reversal situation. <gasps> now both Red Beamer is off the left side. No weapon on hand. That's another end light that's going to be coming out. They're stuck. And sick. going to be catching one going high. Daylight neutral and catching the other one dashing on in. And Blue Team has officially made the reset with a 3-0. No SDs to speak of. That was just the reset. You saw that coverage. Both Blue Team members, they held down that stage wall. A dominant 3-0 for the reset. And now this next set decides it all. Experience and Zen went completely untouched in the top eight bracket. Just lost three straight to get yes. reset here. And that is, of course, why it is so scary to be stuck off stage Three, with your two, teammate alongside one, you. Because oftentimes when one goes low or one goes high, well, you kind of just have to guess one, and Hang you on. usually end up hitting just one of them. What's up? Dar they, they were already getting team comboed from the start of this first game. I mean, Ooh. come on now, Balloon Boy, hide away. Give us a second to breathe, Balloon please. Boy. Oh, he's not letting go of Zen. He is so mad, ends up ending that with a new trailer on his teammate. Almost gets the end sig as well, but he was a little bit too far to the right side. He needed to be further back to the left. Okay, Hideaway playing forward once again. Has the cannon out. online. <gasps> Balloon Boy finds that first stock, and offstage is experience. Balloon Boy gets no to weapon. cover this time. This is scary. Oh, but he makes it back on. He covered high. He wanted to catch a high recovery. And light comes out, and they're just focusing on Zen. Balloon Boy went on to experience for just a second. And light comes out again and again. Red team, they've been split up. They've been pushed away from each other. Okay, Hideaway was reading a jump right there from uh, experience trying to jump back towards Zen. Not able to get the KO wow. off the top. Actually finds the KO on Balloon Boy. Really sick reversal right there, but very, very worse for wear is experience. Hideaway knows it right here. Side now light. wants to go Neutral. for the KO. Almost gets the pivot end light as well, but I think he was looking at Balloon Boy and he wanted to stop his combo just in case he got interrupted. Hideaway's first stock is going to be gone. Experience is continuing to stock tank for the red team. Okay, gets the KO onto experience finally. Oh. It's uh, a slight, 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 slight damage lead. Yeah, I think that was Zen. That was not Balloon Boy. That was yeah, the other yeah. Oh, no. Okay, well, not exactly the way that you want to go out, but it's okay. You are still pretty low in terms of damage. Huge. You get him stacked. You get him to one side, but no follow through. Yeah, positioning was a little bit weird there uh, because Zen just wasn't on the other side to create the mm -hmm. sandwich right there. So we still go. New choke happening. Yes, a new trailer down here as well. Experience going to be looking for a way to be able to land. But then Hideaway shifts his focus onto Zen. He gets the end light. They're off stage for just a second. Okay. Balloon Boy not able to cover the space. And both Onyx and players were disarmed right there. Both <gasps> Onyx players KO'd off the left side as well. So it's just the Wushongs having to play the 1v1 for just a moment. Gauntlet v Spear what finds the anti -air. Not going to have too much after. Okay, getting the D-Light into the downer as well. Zen interrupting, just having absolutely none of that at the moment. Not able to connect the cannon D-Light either. This is going so back and forth. This is almost completely even until Balloon Boy losing his stock off the top, dodging the GC end light as well. Hideaway is just looking for that opening. Yeah, but Zen's going to go out with pretty much any light hit at this point. Look, Hideaway goes for yes. it. There's the Sair from Balloon Boy. This is the window of opportunity they need, but Experience just dodges their way out. Chase dodge, get out of there while you can. And Sig comes out. It does not actually find a target. Zen finally able to pick up the spear and immediately gets the end light. He knew. He remembered which weapon was primed. Okay, side Sig, is that enough? Got one. Yes, it will be. Okay. Zen and Experience D -D get these team combos. Sider? They do yes. not drop wow. these. First one on the board going over to Zen and Experience after they had an insane getting re getting reset on right there by Balloon Boy and Hideaway. After losing three consecutive games, they were able to find their footing. They were able to go ahead and get a game off. So what ended up happening this game? Well, I feel like the survivability from Red Team, it was absolutely phenomenal. This team combo as well, so clean, so, so, so precise. Mm -hmm. um, there was a couple of dropped combos as well on behalf of blue team this time around you talked about the mispositioning it is a little bit tough when it is the cannon player that is initiating sure. say in end light and then wushong is directly above ideally you want them sandwiched you want to hit him with an end light into something like a spear end light and they did not have it going into game two of the bracket reset let's see what they got 
Okay, Hideaway sticking on the gauntlets right now, probably waiting for the next weapon spawn, because once again, I think when Hideaway is on cannon on this Onyx, it's so, so hard to contest him. Gonna look for maybe ground pound right there? Oh, no. Oh gosh, he is continuing to sweat, and he makes it back onto the stage. Neutralate comes out, he catches the dodge, Zen with the interruption, and then the high profile Ensig as well. Balloon Boy one step ahead of everybody, but Zen had enough of him. Close to a second one as well. Sweat beats do come through. Hideaway able to touch right there. Oh my gosh, that's a huge end light. Zen missing the neutral, but still an excellent idea nonetheless. Now, how does Zen and Hideaway keep this stock right now? Wow, Zen just still patrolling that weapon spawn. Hideaway has been weaponless for a while and then just threw the cannon away, trying to use that to initiate, but just gets nothing as mm -hmm. a result. Okay, Hideaway looking to be able to catch this landing, but experience the last possible second able to pop out a side of Red Team with an amazing lead at the moment. They have the stock lead. It can disappear in a moment's time, but Blue Team is struggling to get those lethal final hits. Yeah, and I think what's been really tough is in a lot of the first set, we saw Hideaway and Balloon Boy just like, at least with a slight lead for a majority mm -hmm. of some of these games. Now Zen and Experience have really started to figure out wow. there's the double that you need to set the tone once again, though. Okay, you know what? They cleaned up both of them, and now the question is, can they make up this amount of damage? I think the biggest thing they struggled with was actually securing the KOs last game. So when it comes to damage, I don't think they've got any issue at all. Sidelight does not find a target, though. Able to get the D-Light, but no Sidelight onto Experience. Yep. He has the right idea, but he's just slightly off in his timing. Okay, Zen going to work a little bit right here. Experience off stage. Hideaway doesn't want to commit right there, especially playing Ooh. from the damage differential. Experience off stage, eating that neutral from Balloon Boy. They gotta make a way back on the downer. It ends up hitting both of them. No way, no shot. Do I can't they believe they both back got back. On? I was gonna say they both need to make a wish that they can recover right now, but Hideaway and Balloon Boy somehow pulling a rabbit out of a hat right here to stay Chase alive for a little again. bit longer. Gets the side of Zen off stage, experience off stage. Hideaway wants that end sig, wants that end light as well. Balloon Boy covering behind, but it does not matter because Zen was able to go ahead and close that one out. Okay, D light, side as well. Red team is holding down this lead. Yeah, for sure. I will say the fact that Balloon Boy and Hideaway were able to survive for a little bit longer on that left side edge guard might be the difference maker for mm -hmm. this game, but they're certainly still behind right now. They need to get a KO and they need to get it fast. Okay, Hideaway just looking for that side. I get a double off the left side! You gotta be kidding me! He got it again. Balloon Boy and Hideaway, they have a chance. They have a chance to be able to get this game. Red Team still has a lead, but it is such a subtle lead at the moment. Okay, experience going to work on Balloon Boy, able to scrape mm -hmm. out in time. Hideaway now gets the action going on both. He caught him stacked for just a moment. Zen able to break free, committing to that delight, and experience finding the counter hit. Instead, Wait. Edsick, Zen off stage without a weapon. Go on, experience. You gotta go. You gotta get that hit. You gotta make this advantageous for the blue team. But they're focusing. But it's experience got it. instead. You gotta be kidding me. They focused on him while Zen was stuck in disadvantage. And now Zen is off stage against this team, the dynamic duo. He can't make it back on. He eats the weapon toss, and blue team is back in it. There is nothing left. Tied up one and one. This is a scary thing, right? Yes. This happens a lot in grand finals. You see a reset that is so, so dominant, right? And this is what happened. The 3-0 in the first set. And then the team that came from winners was like, I remember what we need to do to be able to play the game yes. right. And then they that just win the whole tournament. Just like that, Balloon Boy and Hideaway have really made a statement here. They should have. They, nobody's out of the woods quite yet. Nobody can breathe easy at this point. So what ended up happening uh, was they just kept Zen off stage. They kept Zen off stage for so long, he was stuck without a weapon. They got a little bit closer to them just to say, hey, take a long time. I want you to fade back. And then they focused on experience. That is what you need to do with a team that is so good at covering each other's space. You got to split them up. Get them out of from here. Get them away from here. Yeah, and I think I like the switch over to Western Air Temple here just for the fact that there's a second soft platform to find those split ups. Mm -hmm. See if it comes into play a little bit more right here. Definitely creating a bit more space. Experience coming back on. Able to get a huge sidelight side of recovery as well. Now Hideaway is down so deep. He's looking to land. Zen almost with the follow-up. D-Light neutral, but that's Onyx. He's he's quite a hefty yeah. guy. Okay, Hideaway fighting on arm right now. Balloon Boy wants to dash in. Not gonna get too much after that. Down it comes out, whiffing the D-Light. Uh -oh. Able to get the end light. Watch out, the watch out. I can't watch out, watch out! Here comes Hideaway! Has to recover on the left side, Balloon Boy <gasps> misses the pogo. the pogo! 
Oh no, and now experience. Oh, he is hungry. He is hungry. And he is looking to get both of those stocks. But Zen coming back in. The tides keep on turning. The situation keeps on flipping. Balloon Boy what fading away. This? What are this extended edge guard? I can't believe what's happening. Zen finds the interruption. <gasps> Hideaway gets the stock onto Zen. He Zen's falls on to last. last. Everyone else is in deep red, but there goes experience. He got a perfect weapon toss combo. That's exactly what happened. He caught the one over extension. Balloon Boy knocked down to two stocks. Hideaway honestly does not matter if you lose your last or your first stock right now because you have Zen on last stock, and that is amazing. Fresh stock for Hideaway. Practically fresh stock for Balloon Boy right now. Can they make some magic happen? Get the upset over Zen and experience. I don't know if I'd even call it an upset at this oh, point, no, Dara. All their sets have been so Hold close, on. but here we go. Don't right away so. off stage once again. MVP behavior. Is it goat season? There's the Earthbender. Wants to get up with the recovery right there. Is Hideaway. Has to do it to save experience. Zen made it back onto the stage somehow. That was so, so, so scary. That was so precarious. The GC Ensign able to come out. The side of the Balloon Boy almost getting the downer to be able to follow up. Hideaway Anyway, that was amazing. He covered the delight below the whiff and sig to stop anybody from whiff punishing his teammate. That's right, that's right. Wow, okay, reversal situation for experience is able to get one mm -hmm. on the board. This is what they could need right here, but whiffs beautiful Zen side does not get that. That was really good coverage, anyways. But hideaway still hanging on to the stock. Experience down to last. Zen off stage. He committed a down air, but yep. Zen did not want to go through the reversal. He just wanted to get back on safely. Delight neutral, not enough to be able to get the KO. Chase dodging upwards. Oh, Oh my gosh, we're having a cannon ditto on the left. We're having a Wushang ditto on the right. Okay, Hideaway with a stock of padding right now is gonna fall off right here. Yes, yeah, doesn't choice. even want to try to Get recover, for sure, for sure. You don't want to have that 2v1 happen. Good choice, good decision making. Zen connecting the N-Sig onto his own teammate. Hideaway wait, off stage. Wait, oh, <gasps> big, big hit. Big That's a miscommunication oh, right there. Zen falls, experience has to fight the 1v2, and we're approaching potentially set point right here for Balloon Boy and Hideaway. Balloon Boy snuck in. He snuck in, and he found that spike when everybody else was too busy with their own game at the moment. Experience is off stage. I don't know how you make it back from this point, especially when blue team has been this consistent. Okay, relatively healthy stock here for experience. He does have the cannon equipped, not gonna get disarmed for at least a little while, but if you mm -hmm. get wrapped up in one single confirm, that could be the entire stock and the game for Hideaway and Balloon Boy. This is where Hideaway usually goes through something like a side sig, but it does not matter. And like into the down as well, gonna be coming out here. Balloon Wait, Boy. okay, had to go for it. Yep. I don't blame him. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be the KO, and that's going to be the game. Balloon Boy and Hideaway, they're on the precipice of finding the first doubles gold medal. They're one game away. They've gotten two. They've gotten second place two times before. They got it in the spring championships. They've got it in the summer doubles championships. Now might be the moment. So, so close. And how poetic for it to be against mm -hmm. the gatekeepers of Experience and Zen, a team that yes. they have gone to game five against Multiple so, times. so many times. In this set, they clean sweep them in the first. Looks like they're looking at a 3-1 potentially right here, or do Zen and what Experience do do have anything to, to say game? about it? What did they do to Zen this game? Those stocks, they they were gone. That was such a deficit to have to play off of. That was ridiculous. So, game number four. This is going to be a crazy one. I'm very scared. You know, I, I drank like a lot of Mountain Dew before this, if you guys couldn't tell. I'm all caffeined up right now. I didn't know Mountain Dew had caffeine. It has so much caffeine. I've never had Mountain crazy. Dew uh, but, but yeah, we're going into potentially set point right here. Balloon Boy and Hideaway's first gold medal in doubles. And it would be a huge monumental win to be able to do that. Everybody has jumped out of the lobby. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they're just trying to go back in and reconnect for a second here. Um, yeah, so I feel like when it comes to Hideaway's like ledge trapping, especially with side sig, it is so, so, so scary. I love the way that Balloon Boy and Hideaway have really just hit this flow of covering each other's spaces. Yes. They've made themselves look so safe. Yeah, in particular on the edge guards, right? Like we have seen practically every replay mm -hmm. that has been a victory for Balloon Boy and Hideaway has just been an edge guard highlight reel, I feel, where it's like Balloon Boy gets to go first, go for a pogo, oh, I missed it, and then Hideaway's like, okay, boom, yes. cannon edge guard, I just win. It's crazy to watch, and I'm so, so impressed with their play so far in this grand finals. Yeah, I feel like it's really important when you're thinking about twos, when you're thinking about doubles, um, having moves moves that reposition you are so important to play off of your teammate. Wushong and Sig specifically is so good in doubles because, well, not a, is it just active, not only is it a good KOing option, uh, 
but it pops him up. What does that allow you to do? Well, it allows your teammates to go down, under, and around you um, to be able to cover any of the other members of the enemy team trying to go ahead and punish you for it. And that's what they have effectively been able to do. They've made these signature attempts not committal at all. Yeah, for sure. We are loading into our potential final game right here, yes. unless Experience and Zen have something to say about it. Game four is starting in just a moment, but oh man, this is uh, this one's getting spicy. Yeah, we're going to be going into game number four, everybody. One this could draw. be it. Let's see what we got. This is, of course, the bracket reset. Let's get it. Already opening off really aggressively. So much damage, especially onto experience mm -hmm. has been dealt. Okay, everybody's stacked. Everybody is on top of each other. But honestly, if you hit all three other people on the screen, it is still advantageous for you because you're dealing damage to both members yeah. of the enemy team and only one to your friend. Absolutely. Oh, as oh, all what? the dust settles, though, Hideaway just gets whacked off the left side. It looked I like a Sare from, wow. the, from the spear there on Zen. That felt like it was so early, especially on an Onyx. That is not usually who you see going down that early into Certainly, the game. Yeah. Oh, experience looking to be able to land. Balloon Boy. <gasps> Wait you a sec. They just keep switching positions. They keep going back and forth off stage. Okay, hideaway. hideaway trading off right there. But once again, the target nice. swap onto Zen is just so calculated from these players, right? You put experience in such an awkward and uncomfortable position trying to return the stage. And then they say, you know what? I'm actually just going to go for your teammate. Down who comes out. That's a side that is still not enough to be able to take out Balloon Boy's first stock. Comes back on with the recovery. Of course, it is Onyx. He's going to hang on to that thing as long as possible. And okay. Light, split up. Next one is actually just close to getting the KO outright with how much damage Balloon Boy has. Zen missing the side light. You saw what Hideaway did. He drifted as far back to make the down air as safe as possible. Okay, Hideaway dodging towards the left. Zen probably marking that down in the Rolodex of dodge patterns so far. Here we go with Hideaway. And just finding the quick one-two. Okay, both red team members stuck at the red side. Okay, that's going to be it. That's going to be the first stock on experience gone. Zen landing finally, not taking any hits. He has been somehow avoiding these 1v2s. Yeah, and I think Balloon Boy hanging on to that first stock for as long as he did really has <gasps> oh, a big impact. No, Zen once again falling right there. There's the Pogo experience. Sweat beats coming through. He didn't fully commit to it. He was afraid of Zen being in position to get the down -out. And then he went a little bit too low. Zen Zen's sweating. Gone. Zen's that gone. That's on his last stock. That was such a brutal position for red team, right? Especially once you saw experience exhausted in that position. There was nothing they could do. Mm -hmm. Slowing down the pace of the game for just a second. Experience left sweating. Hideaway not able to cover it in time with the end light. Okay, connecting the recovery. D light, beautiful interruption from Hideaway though. <gasps> the pickup from Hideaway just got clipped out though. That's gonna be last stock going towards Hideaway. Balloon Boy and Experience at completely basically the same even. damage, yeah. Yes, completely, completely even. But because Balloon Boy is Wushong and definitely not Onyx, Balloon Boy is the easiest to be able to take out first here. Sure. So you have to hold on to the stock. Experience tried to target switch. End light, yes, there it is. That oh, oh no no okay hideaway off stage yeah we both got scared for a second if we're blue team fans which it seems like a lot of these people are they want to get that reset yes. into the victory they right now count recovery out the team. will not be enough though experience still hanging on to this stock onyx so so beefy until That's the it. very end we go last stock across the board finally on last stock right now but the neutral look at the position that Zen is in experience goes out there the ground pound do not worry that was just to scare the blue team and now Zen slowly Wait, but, but surely able but to Zen's make it back on trying to come back that could have been a huge opportunity to combo onto experience chase dodge down happens now balloon boy able to touch down hide away as well okay zen being so patient so slow when it comes to getting back onto the stage here because he does not want to lose his last stock oh no hide has got the cannon he's got hide away's got the he's cannon got the side. zen is so deep off stage they've made this another 2v1 but can they get the hit onto experience he's being evasive he's being elusive and sig comes out but it only hits hideaway <gasps> that's the punish what was that end sig this could be the last stock of the game experience has to get a perfect 1v2 to stay alive in the tournament otherwise Tossing it's balloon boy and hideaway with their first ever gold medal he picks up the gauntlets hideaway tossed out his cannon and now he's left unarmed that's a downer no he's recovery. For recovery Okay, slow and steady, just a sair. You can take this slow Balloon Boy and hide away within Nobody's grasp. committing. This gold medal. You can just wait him out. He makes it back onto the stage. Oh, no. Oh, no, that is not the friendly fire. Ground Pound comes out. He, his movement is phenomenal at the moment. Okay, Rep cannon does. online, though. Experience <gasps> can clutch this. <gasps> the recovery. Can experience no. can clutch this. It misses. The D-Light neutral did not connect. That could have been it. Okay. Oh, Big my win gosh. punish. The side stick didn't come out either. <gasps> experience. Oh, my God, Balloon Boy off stage. That's oh. all everyone. But that's the end of it. It's going to be Autumn Double for the first time ever, Balloon Boy and Hideaway find the gold medal. Oof. I can't believe it. That's insane. That was an After incredible the reset as well.